Ever since honeycomb mice came to the market, I always thought they suck. They look bad, and I'm pretty sure that dust will build up eventually inside. Until the day someone told me to review it. This guy over here. And now we have a honeycomb mouse with us today, which we will be reviewing. See you on the other side of the intro. Hey guys, this is Bibo Haranero. I'm a tech reviewer, a singer, and a gamer, but we'll get into the singing and the gaming later on in this channel. Now, uh, before, I, we, before we begin with the unboxing and the review, I just would like to put in a little bit of a segue because I'm selling my Beats Studio to wireless with active noise cancellation. The reason why I'm selling it is because I already have a lot of headsets. I've got this and I've got this and this. I've got earbuds and another set of earbuds inside my room, so I don't use it anymore. Um, I'm selling it for 6000 I originally bought this for 18000 in 2018. I've just recently replaced its padding back in August. So if you guys are interested, you can just search me on Carousel at ZYNTHOX right up here. I will leave a link down below to this product that I'm selling in Carousel as well. We can chat there and uh, if you like it, buy it. Okay, so I've just sh shown you what's inside the box there. It's pretty straightforward. You've got the unit, you've got the manuals inside. Um, so as for the mouse itself, let's talk about first its aesthetics and build quality. For th the overall look, I don't really like honeycomb mi mice. So um, uh, in the beginning, first impression, I just wasn't excited about it until I touched it <laughs> because it's very smooth actually and uh, it doesn't flex no matter how how um, strong you press on any sides it doesn't flex uh, so the build quality is really great now as for the grip um, it's you know very good being a light mouse um, it's very easy to control it I just did have one issue with it which we will talk more later so it's wireless braided and they pretty much tried to copy the um, the uh, flex, flex wire, I, I believe, flex cable of Razer. As for the accessibility of the buttons, I did see one um, issue here, For at least for me. It's not an issue for all people since I have small hands. Um, these side buttons are, I wish they were just pushed a little bit more backwards. Um, this has the right um, length for my thumb and this one is just it's not too far out but I'm gonna have to move my thumb forward in order for me to reach it in which I'm showing you right now now as for its accuracy and control I did notice one issue with this one which is why I had to swap out my the felt mouse pad mouse pad that I was using again that's a felt mouse pad with a rough uh, um, surface so I had to clean out my original mouse pad, which is just you know a cloth mouse pad, and it works well there. So it, its feet, right here, does not work well with rough uh, mouse pads. So if you guys have a felt mouse pad there, um, I wouldn't suggest you use it because the feet are a little bit rubbery. Um, I believe they're also made of Teflon, but they're rubbery and they just don't jive well with friction. Ah! Don't panic. So, I guess it's time we tested this out in the field in Counter-Strike GO. Now, the game you're gonna be seeing are is a game I had just a few minutes ago. And since it's 3am, there aren't a lot of players there. So we're gonna be playing with bots and we're just gonna be aiming for, you know, headshots. Uh, I'm not a pro, I'm, I don't claim to be a pro, and I suck at the game, you will see, you will notice, but please no judgement. Thanks guys. Your match is ready. 
All headshots. Ah, oh, God, no players. Bot Adrian? I should have died if that weren't the bot. I mean, not totally suck, but I'm just an average player since I don't play for like hours a day. I. I just play for like, you know, one game per day, which is like 10 minutes. <laughs> Does it work the same as the Viper? Um, yeah. At a much very affordable price. I'm pretty sure I talked about this a while ago. Oh! I can't snipe. My frames are really, really low. Like, at 50. Because I'm recording with two fucking cameras. Oh! Whoa! There's another one? What? Bibo Aranaro. Don't panic. Well, die! Let's ambush these motherfuckers. Oh, so someone's coming. <gasps> Sucks. No judging, guys. What? What? Die! <gasps> I have footsteps! I hear footsteps here. Someone just revived there? No, this is not my game. This is not my game. Too far away for a headshot with that gun. Oop, 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 oop. Die. Oop, 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 oop. Die. Good man. The frames. What? The, what? The guy wasn't moving. Don't panic. It's organic. Don't panic, it's organic. I'm hungry! Oh, I'm hungry! No! No! <laughs> Bots! <laughs> oh my god. Same shit. Let's camp here for the meantime. I know you like camping. Everybody likes camping. Hey, I'll show you a trick. It's a cool trick with the AWP. Oh! It didn't work. It didn't work. So some of you guys would notice uh, my pinky finger is touching the mouse pad just so I can get more control over my mouse. But if I want to go for speed... I I keep it low. If I need to anchor it, I put my pinky down. Just for a better, you know, a better control. Especially when you're going for headshots only. Okay. <gasps> it's behind us. What? 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 Now I'm top two. Playing with what? Bots. <laughs> only There are only three humans in this game. 
Ah, didn't score top, but it's fine. At least you got to see uh, uh how the mouse uh functions. All right, so let's move over to the wrap up. Now let's begin with beginning with the cons. I think these two side buttons are positioned to forward. Now the mouse that I'm using right now, which is the Razer Viper Mini, is perfect for people with small hands. This is not a problem again for a lot for I mean for all, but only for some. Number two, eventually dust will build up inside, and it's gonna be a challenge to clean it. And I believe you can use pressurized air to remove the dust. Number three, um, what was that again? Oh damn it! I forgot the third one. There you go. Okay, I read my notes. So here we've got rubbery feet. They're smooth to the touch, but compared to my razor mouse over here. The razors is a lot smoother than this. This has a little bit of a rubbery feel to it, so it's very much pad sensitive. Now let's move over to the pros. Um, it's very cheap for a PMW three three eight nine chip. Um, the lift off distance is very good. It's about at one to two millimeters, just between that range. So once you take it off your mouse pad. It just stops tracking, and it doesn't mess up with your aim, which is good. Last one is it's got a driver. Now the driver we're going to be discussing in the next video. I'm going to be putting a link down in the description below so that you can watch how we manage through the driver. I'll see you guys there. This is Biberonero. Bye-bye. Oh, hey, you might have forgotten to put a thumbs up and a like. Oh, thumbs up and a like. Thumbs up and a sub. This is Biberonero. Bye-bye.